folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF day, folks. It's a beautiful thing going into a great weekend. Let's make it a great one. Let's take a look, one, look at one of our four agreements. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you are there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. In every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 23, NASDAQ up 18, S&P's up 2, gold contract up 270, trading at 1,663 an ounce. Silver up five cents at thirty-one dollars and twenty-six cents an ounce. Platinum, one thousand five seventy-one an ounce. Copper up five and a half pennies, trading out at three eighty-two a pound. Light sweet crude up seventeen ticks, trading out at one o four seventy-two a barrel. Bonds up fourteen ticks at one forty-two twenty-three. King dollar down fourteen ticks at seventy-eight eighty-six. That's going into the April third day of strength. You get a uh, last engulfing down there, so uh, next week's going to be a big week for King Dollar. Euro up 18 ticks at 132.37, and the yen down 63, tightening up, getting stronger at 80.36. That also is a counter trend bounce, folks. Yen wants to go higher. I had the first acceleration off last month, quite an acceleration. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Well, I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're up, uh, the cash is up 3.3. We did 784 million versus 965. Uh, this, this baby right here, you know, no doubt crawled its way up, but there's no juice behind this move, folks. We're going to be back down to this 1357. Now, it's going to get interesting how this shakes out. The reason being, of course, is that we're coming into May. Sell them in, go away. That's the first part. Now, the second part, well, the first part is really at the end of the month and the beginning of the month, that's where the market has a chance to go higher because that's where buying comes in. Um, so the way we're set up price and volume-wise, yes, market wants to come down to 1357. That's where I expect you're going to see it before you're hitting highs. Dow Industrials. We're going to take a look at the Dow. What do you have with the Dow? Dow Industrials today. Uh, go to a price point of 13,266. Now, the high out here, folks, was the 13,297. So it only missed it by 30 points. Backed off from that, has light of volume, and that very well could be it for the Dow. NASDAQ composite. Now, inside the composite, it's, you know, this is pretty amazing that the composite couldn't go to the moon today. Uh, the reason being is this. Well, first off, the composite is up 18 bucks. You do 1.7 billion, and it's going into 1.995 billion. Uh, composite closes uh, right, let's see, so the gap, you're going to love this, the, the gap was uh, 3061, we're at 3069, that's when we gap down. Um, there's not juice in this composite, and the be the reason, now, now watch this, this is pretty amazing, Amazon, folks, okay, was king of the jungle, no doubt about it today, up 30 points, monster volume, okay, Bottom line, you're going to want to buy, uh, you know, that the, the gap that's in Amazon is going to get filled. That gap is all the way down there at 192. It's just going to be a time deal. Well, with Amazon even up that high, and, you know, Amazon is, uh, let's see if I can get the exact structure inside it. I don't have the exact structure, but it, bottom line is it, it, it's, it's a good piece of the NASDAQ composite. But good old Apple, because Apple is so dynamic and such a heavy weighting inside it, Apple couldn't move. Apple was down four bucks, but that's really a sideways move. Bottom line, couldn't put the juice inside it. Uh, we go take a look at Priceline, PCLN. Uh, we had a Priceline out here today. Priceline, Priceline goes topside, um, $28, $7.62. So what was it dragging it down? Well, you got to remember, the NASDAQ is a modified weighted structure. SBUX, Starbucks, is a big weighting also. What happens at Starbucks? Only goes down about 4%, but bottom line, drags it down. Um, Starbucks today. Now, if you're in Starbucks, folks, okay, bottom line, this is what you have. You talk about a yin and a yang. We have now... 
Starbucks today had 26 million shares. You do not want to see that coming off a high. So, the great part about Starbucks is they have high volume high. That's at 61.98. The bad part about Starbucks is that now you come off that high with volume. So what does that set up? That sets up a very large correction, folks. So protect yourself if you're in there. Don't give back those gains because the gains of Starbucks have been extraordinary. Just in six months, it's been 50%. If you've been in Starbucks for quite a while, this is a stock that was in the gold market. Um, you can get 10 baggers, folks. And 10 bagger is, you know, you buy a stock for five bucks, it goes to 50. You don't see that in the market, in the broad equity market that, that much. Starbucks did it. Starbucks, you know, was a nine bagger. It went from $70, $77 to $63. When that happens, you can get very large corrections, okay? So, bottom line is if you're in Starbucks, get a stop in that baby. Don't give it back. Um, Starbucks, on a normal correction, would come down to about 52. And, and by the way, depending on what the follow-through is on Starbucks, meaning next week, that normally would be the buy. What happens when you have a high volume coming off the high, however, that is problematic. It's problematic in the sense that, you know, we could go to 38. And, and 38 would be, by the way, a natural retracement of the whole move up. That's how that that's how that works, folks. So, you know, buyer beware. And if you're in that stock, get a stop in. That's the bottom line. Uh, gold market. We to go take a look at the gold market out here. What we had with gold is this. Uh, gold today had a price spread of 1651 was the low, 1668 was the high, and the volume died in the vine. So, bottom line, gold's not done going on the way down yet. Uh, now, an eco eagle. We've been watching an eco eagle, of course. Uh, AEM, AEM, you're yeah, going to want to be all over. Uh, AEM today was, uh, you know, it came off that bottom and it tested the, the, the lows this past Monday, 31.98, did it on 1.6 million versus 8.5. Takes off like a rocket ship. Up 352 today, come out with the numbers, has the wide price spread, has the volume, has all of the above. Retracements, you're going to want to look at in a big way. Bond market. Now, we go to bonds. Now, bonds, this is getting really wild. Because what bonds did today is this. Bonds pushed their way over the swing point. The last swing point that we had out there was from Tuesday. So, what do we do? Monday, rather. Monday, uh, we had 240,000 contracts. It pushed it over 221. Now, the bond market, folks, is going to need the 30-year bond. We're at 122, 142.22. Now, the higher bonds go lower interest rates go. The bond market wants to go after this 144 to 145. You break that, it's a monster ABC up. The longer that we build cars right under this area, the more the market will talk, walk, and squawk. Right now, that is not enough volume on Monday nor today in order to break to highs. What we're going to need in order to break to highs is approximately 450 to 550,000 contracts. Right now, you can see you're only at 222, and on Monday, we're only at 240. What does happen is this. You build a little more cars here, and volume picks up. If volume doesn't pick up, that's saying that, you know what, you're not going to break the highs at this particular point. We're going to take a look at the uh, some of the high-volume stocks out here. This is what you had. Uh, all scripts. So that got smoked too. We'll go back to that for a second. That was down 572, trading out at 1029. Uh, we had uh, Seagate Technology was off a buck and a half at, at $29. Procter and Gamble. We'll come back to that. That was down big, 243 with volume. Amazon. I said that was that went topside big time. Western Digital got hit. That was down six bucks at 37. Uh, Starbucks had got hit. Uh, Expedia. Expedia went topside. Uh, nice run topside. 768 EXPE. Let's go take a look at Expedia. Uh, so, Expedia, what does she do? Yeah, you just wait for that retracement on Expedia. Expedia is a beautiful ABC structure on the way up. If you can get that uh, baby on a, on a pullback, filling that gap up, be all over it. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.